Hey everybody, Chad from Patriot Astro. Have you ever had a topic you thought you understood, but maybe you didn't? And it seemed so simple, but you were afraid to ask. Well, welcome to astrophotography. And not to say that our topics are all simple, but the one we're going to talk about today is something that I think a lot of people assume they understand, but then when they dig in, get a little confusion, and that's north. And this is something we've grown up with, right? We've seen this on every map since we were a child, but do you really understand it? You see, there's a problem. The problem is there are three Norths. So the first North is true North, and this is the geographical North where the North Pole is, as defined by the rotation of the Earth. But then there's a second North, and that's grid North. This is based on the grid lines of your map, so it's the top of the map. And then finally, there's a third north, which is magnetic north. And this is the direction your compass points, or your iPhone, or your Android phone. And this direction changes slowly over time. So these three different norths can be visualized like we see here. So we have true north at the top, grid north off to the right, and then magnetic north off to the left. And it should be noted that magnetic north does move. Up until 1990, it moved about nine miles a year. Right now it's moving 30 to 40 miles a year. So based on your location, these lines can be different, right? It's something you need to check. Now grid north isn't important to us. What we really care about is true north, which is the top of our globe based on the rotation of the earth, and magnetic north, which is usually the tools we use to try to find north, especially when we're polar aligning. So let's see why this is important that we understand both true north and magnetic north. Well, there's actually a tool, and I'll give you the website here on the page in the bottom right, and I'll certainly put it down in the video description, and it's the NOAA Mobile Magnetic Declination Calculator. And what this is going to do for your location is show you true north and magnetic north so that you can appropriately point your telescope at true north. And this is really handy, especially when uh, Polaris is not visible. So recently I have a situation where Polaris isn't visible. And what I did is found this website. I allowed it here on my iPhone to access my location. And based on that, it identified uh, both true north, which is the end to the up to the right. That's where I want to point my telescope, right? It's true north based on the rotation of the earth. And the M is magnetic north, which is where your compass would have pointed you. And you'll notice here in my current location, that's off by 14.1 degrees. And as I move my iPhone around, you'll actually see that change. Uh, there's even a dot in the middle that that's a bubble level. This is really handy. If I just went purely by a compass reading, you'll see that I would have misaligned my telescope initially and been off by 14 degrees or more when trying to get it set up initially out of the box before I attempted polar alignment. So again, hopefully you found this tool to be useful. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about what North really is. And you know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and come back. Look for more information like this or more deep dives on things like Nina or other astrophotography topics. Thanks again for watching. Clear skies.